So, Mr. Von Dracek, when Asher comes here, what will happen to him in this room? How does it all work? How does it all work? Well, uh, first you coming as a patient, I, as I understand. So you have to lie very stiff and still on the table. Then the table, it is, it is a robotic couch with six degree of freedom. So it's very precisely working. It position you very precisely at the place you have to be according to the beam. And so you get a molded yes. body yeah. shape, which yes. means you, you can't move around, you can't rip. Yes, yes. You have, it force you to stay in the position you were started to be treated. So as you come several times for treatment, you have to lay exactly the same position each time. So that's why we have this fixation here to make you lay the same way you are laying all the time. And every individual patient has a yes. personal one of these? Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And Asher will get one made specifically for him? Exactly, yes. Okay, so he's in the cocoon He's under the machine. What happens? What are you looking for? How does it work? Show us how it works. Well, first you have to be precisely sure that you are treating the right place. Because it's just positioning of the patient is not precise enough. So we have the X-ray imaging, which is orthogonal X-ray imaging here on the machine. So you can directly see inside the patient if you are in correct position, if you are treating the right place. So as I have shown you, this is the, this is the flat panel which is going out of the machine inside this nozzle. There is, a, there is an X-ray tube which makes the images of the patient in the treatment position. So now you are 100% sure that the patient is laying in precision better than one millimeter. For human it is enough. So then you can start the treatment. So you position the machine to the correct angle. The nozzle can rotate around the patient. So you are sure that you are treating the right place from the right direction. So this goes all the way around. Yes, yes. Um, I can show, I can show you, yeah. Moves around. So the basic thing is you have a treatment plan you have to follow. So you know from what angles you have to treat. So the machine is able to go to, uh, to the position you prescribe with very high precision, I must say. So you're moving the proton beam correct into the correct position yes and then at some point do you press a button and fire it how does it work yes yes exactly if you are sure or, or you have this here verification system the computer system which sh which also controls if the position of the machine and setting up of the machine is correct according to the treatment plan and afterwards you are fine with the patient positioning and the machine setup then you press just the button. At this point, you have to call for a beam. It's a computer software. So you ask for the beam, and the beam is from the cyclotron directed to, the, to this room. So outside of here, there's a huge accelerator that is creating the beam. Basically, what is huge is the gantry behind. The accelerator itself is, yeah, it's quite huge as well. It's, I don't know, diameter of, uh, let's say, seven meters. It's 22 tons of weight. And, but this is the place where the protons are accelerated. Then they are directed to each of our treatment rooms. We have four of them. So you direct all that energy yes. through that machine yes. and into the patient. On exactly, that bed. exactly. And how long does that last? Well, it depends on the number of the field, si uh, field uh, and also on the field size somehow. But usually the treatment itself, I mean, when the beam is on, it's uh, some couple of minutes. What takes a long time is the patient positioning, precise patient positioning, loading the patient on the robot and position again, and then also unloading and putting the patient out. And how often does that happen? Do you do that five times a day or five times a week well, or once uh, a day? How, how often can you take the beam, if you like? Well, you can take any, any uh, well, it does not matter because if you have a patient, just ask the beam and you have it. So th this is how it works. But as far as the patient is concerned, apart from the tumor that it's being aimed at, it's not doing any damage at all to anything else? Well, each radiation does some damage, some collateral damages. But in proton beams, the collateral damage is quite low, the lowest from all the radiation types you have now available. So for a five-year-old boy yeah. with a brain tumor coming here, how many sessions is he likely to need and how long would that take as a period of time? 
Well, as far as I know, it is about 30 fractions or 30 sessions of treatment. And each treatment takes, well, it depends if the child is in anesthesia or not, but each treatment takes, let's say, 40 minutes. I mean, all the whole session, including the, including the loading, positioning, treatment, and unloading. And that would happen, what, once a day or more than it's once a day? It's once a day, once a day usually. So 30 days every day of about 40 minutes of treatment. Yes, 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 exactly. And at the end of that, all being well, he will be cured. Yes, yes. As our experience is, yes.